Hi guys, it has been a hot minute and I feel like I start every video so far with it's been a minute since I've been on here, but it has. I've been going through the process of my boyfriend moved out so I got to move all my plants into my room because he is not here to stop me. Um, so it's been a journey of moving everything in. But I did have this video that I've been working on and I thought I'd do show you guys that first before this. Um, I dove into the world of tissue culturing. Um, it's definitely very fascinating. It's kind of weird of like there's not, I feel like a straightforward how to do it process. And I, I did not do the whole process of um, duplicating the plant and doing all that. Um, I actually bought um, an already tissue cultured culture. Um, I got Florida Beauties. As of right now, as you'll see in the video, they're not variegated, um, so it's kind of a dud, but I don't think variegation is going to come out of it, but we can always see if they do, as it's not a certain thing. Um, they weren't too bad priced, so it's fine to just get these plants that I have. Um, the growing process has been slow, so I did this about two months ago, I believe. We'll say two months. Um, but yeah, so enjoy the video. Let me know if you guys have any helpful hints or tricks, if you guys have done this before. So far, I haven't had any um, rot or anything, so I feel like it's been, how I did it was fine and sufficient. Um, but definitely this isn't, I don't know what I'm doing. So definitely don't like follow this, um, if this is something you're interested in doing, but I just wanted to show you my process of doing it. I am unboxing and doing the process of tissue culturing. I bought a tissue culture culture um, from Tropical Air Plants. I believe their base location is in Washington. Um, but through this process, I um, am acclimating them to a different environment as they are right now grown in agar, which is the weird little mixture that you'll see later in the video. Um, but these plants came super well. They were, this is... I believe end of August that I'm unboxing these and the weather was pretty around negatives um, and I was pretty worried about shipping but they packaged really well so they have this insulated bubble wrap and um, the polyfill for just padding but they arrived super well to me which was exciting um, and this is my first time ever doing tissue culture I kind of got into it as I joined a Facebook group about tissue culturing as it's a very interesting topic of just like how they grow plants at the level of um at the level that they do like plants that come in big box stores a lot of the times that they can be so cheap is because they're tissue cultured because um tissue culturing you just take the mother plant you take the plant cells from that and you grow them in a controlled environment and you can make hundreds of these little baby plants by tissue culturing rather than propagating which takes longer and you can only make so many from a mother plant um and just this acceleration of house plants is interesting to me of definitely the prices and this kind of goes along with it and i wanted to try my hand at it um so just like a breakdown of what tissue culture is so tissue culture is simply just a process that allows you to get more cells new cells um, or tissue from the existing plant matter, so the mother plant that you're taking it from. And this process is easier than seeds or germating um, because it allows you to use like living matter or the organism and not the seeds to reproduce the plant. So if you don't have the seeds or you can't get your plant to reproduce from seeds, this is a way of doing it. This also allows for mass production of the plants as it's easier to cultivate multiples of this. Um, and then a good example that a lot of you might just understand from that is cannabis is grown this way because it cultivates a healthy um, version of that and it can be reproduced quickly and they can take like the best of the cannabis plant and reproduce that. Another version is at like Petco or PetSmart and big box stores like that. The aquarium plants a lot of the times are tissue cultured and you can tell by they have they're sitting in agar solution which is like the gelatinous clear um, liquid that they're sitting in um, and this also like helps with the longevity of the plant life sitting on the shelf as they can live in the agar for quite some time um, I can definitely link a few attachments down below of just like a breakdown of tissue culture as you can dive super deep into it with 
um, defining like the cell types of like what um, cells you can use to create like a different thing and how the substrate works with those certain cells. Um, it was quite an interesting thing to deep dive down into it, but just the gist of it is it's just um, multiplying the cells to create new plants, which is pretty interesting. So how I'm doing this is I'm, since they did come from such a sterile solution, like a sterile environment, I sanitized my tongs, I used clean water, I sanitized my bowls, and I also sanitized the sphagnum moss. The sphagnum moss was new, but I just wanted to make sure, so I did boil it for about 15 minutes. Um, this made my house smell disgusting, so I would recommend if you can potentially do this outside, like on a pot or something over fire, that's like very medieval, but if you could do that, that would help a lot because the house was disgusting. Um, but I decided to start doing this. This was about two weeks, I believe, after I got the tissue culture as I need, I wanted the roots to make sure that they developed a little more and you can see that the roots are super long on some of the plants and that's kind of the cue to me that I could, um, start to do this. There is definitely not a clear way or a laid out example of what to do at this point. I feel like when I was researching, I found a lot of at home how to tissue cultures and where I found a lot of this information weirdly enough was TikTok. Um, there was a girl that I follow that has a home lab and she kind of did a video of just this process of removing the agar from the plants and repotting them in this sphagnum moss. So the key of why I sterilized is there's a high percentage of failure if it's not kept in a sterile solution. So I definitely made sure to clean underneath my nails, wash my hands really well. I even wore pretty clean, like fresh clean clothing, which you should wear clean clothing all the time. But I was wearing clean clothing too, just to make sure that I was not bringing any disease or any um, issues into this as I am having a mold problem with some of my plants in my house. I did not want to bring that into this. So the next step after this, once I got them all separated, which was a task in itself, I used a rooting hormone, which was helpful from the girl actually from TikTok. This is what she did. So I followed along because it, it's not going to hurt to put rooting hormone on it. I did feel like I put a tad too much, but as of this far, it hasn't hindered the growth, I don't believe, as it is taking forever to grow. Um but I kind of walked into this knowing that it was going to be quite a process of getting everything going. So here I am just sticking in the sphagnum and a finishing look of what the sphagnum and all the plants look like. I did paint this lid because I was incredibly bored while I was doing my homework painting class. Don't ask me, I don't know why. But here they all are. As you can see, the rooting hormone is quite obnoxious with how wide it is but I did have some loose leaves as well from the agar solution that I threw in there because why not it wasn't gonna hurt and then here it is in my okay. greenhouse this is a couple this is about a month later and I have now opened up the lid just to have it acclimate to the area that it's in right now awesome um so that is what I did um it definitely was interesting of just seeing, like, taking the stuff out of, like, the gelatinous mixture that it was in. Um, and I definitely had, I was so worried about, like, ripping the roots that they have. But these did have quite established roots. So I felt pretty comfortable doing this. Um, part of the filming that I did not do was, I did get help from a friend who is a biology major. And what she said to do was um, open the lid and I had it. Um, for a good week or two I just cracked the lid for an hour or two closed it back up and then the next day cracked it open for like four hours and so on just so it could adjust to the air um and I do think that helped a lot just with like molding issues and it being um too shocked when it got into the new environment as of yesterday I did take the lid off of that container just to hopefully um have it adjust to my greenhouse um humidity rather than just like the humidity in the box because it was a super high humidity um just so I can slowly start to get them to adjust like a normal house um humidity level but yeah hopefully I will do another video in the future when they were grown more as of right now there is no growth to them but either way this has been a super fun project to do um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed click that like if you did like it or want to see more of these i'd definitely be down to buy more tissue cultures um the guy that i bought this from 
he was actually super helpful just with email corresponding and the purchasing of it was pretty cheap my only issue um was the shipping how long it took to i pre-ordered but then my pre-order still wasn't even filled once the pre-order date became um but i was in no rush so it was fine but shipping was great and everything like that so yeah like subscribe bye guys Thank you.